keep up to date with our latest videos, please hit the subscribe button below. Hi there everybody, this is Chris from racingbetdata.com and in the video today, we're gonna to be using the Power Query function again um, after its popularity of the first basic skim that I did. Um, it's generated quite a lot of interest, quite a few um, messages directly on Twitter, quite a few emails and inquiries have come through. Um, and what I'm gonna do in this example is show you how you can batch a load of our um, racing bet data rankings that are available on the day of each race, um, the ratings and the rankings, how you can batch a load of those very quickly, um, eliminating horses that have run less than five races and get the results. So basically what we're gonna be doing in this video is exporting all of the files for August, September and October. Uh, and then we're gonna do an export here on the screen uh, which is going to get the results for us from the straight from the archive. Now the beauty about being able to do this is it doesn't matter if you you remember during August, September and October, even if you're an, um, somebody contemplating joining now, as soon as you join up to an advanced member, you get access to the, the full archive. So you can export these files even if you didn't uh, download them on the day of the race um, or don't have a um, haven't created a back catalog of these, you can download download these as an advanced member retrospectively. So um, so yeah, really good feature. So what I'm gonna be doing here, I'm just going to put in, so this is for the results. I'm gonna export August, September, October, 2021. I've left everything else as default in here. So not touched any of that. Um, and I'm gonna send that to Excel as an output. Um, whilst that's downloading, I'm gonna to go to the pre-race download file um, page and show you where the archive is in case you're not aware. So here's the pre-race download page. Um, and like, like I said, you can go to this um, archive section on the right hand side. If you're a new member or if you're a returning member, if you don't have a selection of uh, certain days files, you can access those there. Um, so I'm gonna select September and then you just click through each one of these and they will download, depending on your settings on your computer, they might open up, but they're just gonna download for me in the background, I already have these. So what I'm gonna do now is move to the next stage, which is creating the Power Query. So creating this Power Query, really straightforward, really simple. Uh, we've covered it in the first uh, video that we did on this, but I'm gonna take you through the steps again with a bit of a tweak in here. Um, so we go to data at the top of our blank Excel workbook, and then we go to from file and from folder. And that will load up a little dialog box. There you go, it's giving you the folder path. So you can even navigate by clicking the browse or if you know the path, you can paste that in. Um, and as I said, I save on a daily basis each file. I'll go in and I'll export that um, and I'll save it in my pre-race download folder on Dropbox and I click OK. Um, and what that will do is bring in all of the files from that folder so it's found them all here and what I've done for the purpose of this video is that I've um, I've ensured that all that's in there at the moment is the full August and full September um, days pre-race download files we select combine and transform we can load that direct into Excel but we want to do a bit of transformation on that so I click the um, combine and transform now there's over 60 files in there so it does take a couple of seconds um, and as before, the parameter or display option we want to use is the Combine tab. So this is the consistent tab between each one of those 60, 61 files. And we click OK. And it's going to process the queries as it shows on screen. So every time there's a, um, there's a bit of churn in the background, it pops up with a message in Excel letting you know what it's done. Um, and it's processed those files all ready. So really quick, so we've got those 61 files all combined in this one editor. Now what I'm gonna do um, is I'm gonna scroll across to the uh, RBD rating and rank column here. Now I'm gonna load in a specific step. So what we're gonna do, we're looking at an RBD rank of one. Now the rating and the ranking appear on the daily files for the, for the upcoming races that day. Um, so by doing this, by selecting one, we're eliminating all the history of these horses. We're literally just selecting the rating and ranking 
as it was on the morning of that race. OK, now what we're going to do as well, we're going to scroll across. Now, this is just an example of what I'm doing. You can use any of these columns and filter them in any way you want. Um, I'm going to scroll across and we're going to use. Let's use. Um, runs in the last uh, 18 months, I think I'm going to select. So here we go. Let's select anything that's run at least five races in the last 18 months. OK, and we're filtering those out. So anything that's any horse that's run less than five times in the last 18 months has now been excluded from that data set. OK, so we've applied those rules. They're on the um, they're logged now in the memory. And what we need to do is load, close and load. And we're going to load this to Excel and an Excel table. OK, so I'm going to click OK here. It's going to um, populate. As you can see, it's loading these rows into Excel. We've got the message up on the, um, the body of the Excel workbook there saying it's getting the data. Um, and like I said, this is two months worth that it's importing for us now. You can see the rows counting through um, and this should complete in, in under a minute. Um, so real good process. What I'm going to do once this is um, completed is I'm going to then import the October uh, daily files into my pre-race download folder in Dropbox. And I'm going to click refresh on here and that will pull that information already filtered. So let's do it now. Here's the example. Let me just show you. Um, so you can see here this in this column, it's created this source column. And this shows which workbook has been used. So you can see there every date in August and September for 2021. And if we wanted to, we can filter it by date here. So you can see August, September. Now, if we scroll over to the right hand side a bit and look for runs in the last 18 months, you can see that there's nothing in there that has run less than five times. And if we scroll across to the right hand side a bit further, um, we can see that RBD rank and that is set to just one. OK, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to where I've um, I've moved some of these files out just for this video. And I'm going to go and grab those files now for um, October. And I'm going to select them all, do a control A, control C, and I'm going to move them into my pre race download file folder. Sorry. Now that has been done. I've moved those. So we can see here August, September, If I click this refresh button and you can see here it's importing some new rows. So these new files, all I've done is move them on my C drive. So each day I'll be moving a new file in or downloading a new file to it. All I'd need to do is save this workbook and click that refresh and it would follow the rules that I've already set and it bring that new data in. So let it just refresh again. So it does go through the whole process with all the um, the files that are in there, just in case we've made any changes to those. Um, it's ensuring that those um, those files are all scanned and uploaded. Um, so we've got the relevant data in there. Now, once this is completely downloaded, I'll be able to show you how we can do the calculation. So that is now completed. And you can see we have October data in there now, which we didn't have before. But if we scroll to the right again, runs in the last 18 months. Again, we're only showing horses with five or more uh, runs where the RBD rank was one. So cleverly, those new files that we've imported or just moved, copied and pasted into that folder, this query has looked at those and it's filtered out anything that didn't meet that um, criteria we've, um, we specified. So what we have now is two and a bit months worth of data in here. I'm just going to close that down. And what we're going to do is add a profit and loss column. OK, now what I want to do is go to my download that I've just completed, um, which was the um, from the data dashboard, the results from August, September and October. So let's grab those now. Uh, I'm just going to find my download. And open up that file. Now, one thing that I do need to do is ensure that the horse is racing today. Um, that will appear in the um, in the download and the export. I'm gonna, I need to delete those out because we don't have the results from those, and that is going to skew 
anything that we do in terms of summing or counting. So I will need to remove those from uh, from this data set um, before we, we do any calculations. So you can see here the results file is just opened. So this is the format that we get, standard format for anything that we export out of the, the dashboard. And I'm just going to go back to the uh, the query table and we're going to do a quick sum if in this column and I'm going to show you how to do that now. So we're going to do a sum if, sum ifs in fact plural and we're going to go to the sum range. So the range we want is in the output, the RBD results output and we're going to use the Betfair win return column as our sum range and for our criteria, criteria one, we're going to use the horse's name. So we want to find a match with the horse's name and that needs to match the horse column in our newly created dashboard uh, database, sorry. And we're also going to go back to the results um, export and we're going to select column A, which is the date. And we're going to select column B, which is the date column here. And that what that is doing is getting the sum return from that horse. So how did it perform in terms of its Betfair profitability on the win market? And that will automatically populate each um, each row. You don't have to drag that or anything because this isn't a table, it doesn't need to be dragged down. But what I did say I was gonna do was delete out the um, October the 8th data, which is today, just to make sure we're not skewing anything here and delete all those because those results aren't in. But actually, if you scroll to the right, you'll see that it's not there's no negative values in there it's just recording a naught so it's more of the counts if we we're doing a count that would be influenced put the filters back off take the filters back off and then if we select this column here you can see down the bottom that for the last two and a bit months that would have recorded a 300 pound profit if we we're backing horses with the rbd rate ranking of one that had ran at least five times that's how quick it is. Um, I could go back and drag in the July um, daily files, the June daily files. Um, however far back in time I wanted to do, I'd then have to do a, a, a results export from the data dashboard and do it exactly the same way. But you can really quickly, you know, look at that. That that took 10 minutes, not even 10 minutes to, to import um, two and a bit months worth of daily pre-race download files apply a filter or two to that, export the data from the dashboard, the results data from the dashboard, and do a quick bit of formula, which then generates um, your profit. Now, if we wanted to break this down even more, we can create a pivot table on sheet two, or even within the same sheet. We can select the whole range, however much of the range you wanted. Uh, we can apply the dates, and that's done by month. And we can set, get the sums there. So you can see that August was a losing month and October is so far, but we had a really good September. So you can manipulate, drill down, apply formulas, apply filters, really, really powerful. Um, and I suggest you guys get in, start delving away um, and feel free to ask us any questions if you get stuck with it.